This morning, an all new Defenders investigation revealing a potential information gap when it comes to school lockdowns. Schools in the Carolinas are legally required to do at least one lockdown drill per year. But our team learned there is no requirement for tracking the number of actual lockdowns. WCNC Charlotte Defender Alex Shabad is taking a deeper look into the issue. Well, experts say lockdowns can have a traumatic impact on students, so we wanted to find out how often they're happening at CMS. That's when we learned that information isn't being tracked. Lockdown. Whether it's a drill or the real thing, Who's been locked down? students and staff <laughs> jump into action. We lock the door. The reasons for past lockdowns range from a weapon at Myers Park High School to a crime in progress outside a Northeast Side Elementary School. A possibly a robbery from person at Mallet Creek Elementary School. It's happening almost on a weekly basis. It might seem that way, but right now there's no way for the public to know. Our Defenders investigation found CMS does not track the number of school lockdowns. And I am surprised to hear that. Justin Parmenter is a teacher at Waddell Language Academy. So you have 25 or 30 students who are huddled on the floor together, and they have no idea what's going on either, so it can be a really frightening situation to be in. in in fact, some lockdowns can cause anxiety, stress, even traumatic symptoms, according to the National Association of School Psychologists. Since, of course, their safety and well-being is our number one priority, that we would want to at least collect as much information as possible. We checked with several other school districts in our area. Union and Gaston counties told us they also do not track lockdowns. According to Fort Mill schools, there were two lockdowns in the past three school years. State law in the Carolinas requires schools to do one lockdown drill per year than to not actually collect any information or data at all on actual lockdowns does seem a little bit strange. Now some are wondering if an information gap is leaving them in the dark. State education officials tell us they don't require specifically the number of lockdowns to be tracked. In Charlotte, Alex Shabad, WCNC Charlotte.